Hey y'all, it's Kate from The Literary Apothecary, and today we're going to talk about Jingo by Terry Pratchett. This is, I think, book four or five in the City Watch series, which is part of the bigger Discworld universe. If you've seen my videos before, you know how much I love Terry Pratchett. His writing is just so good, so funny, so poignant. He was a genius. Rest in peace, Mr. Pratchett. Sir Terry Pratchett. Uh, so let's get on with the review. So for Jingo, I rated this four out of five stars. While I really enjoyed the book, I didn't enjoy it as much as some of the other books that I'd read. So that's mainly why it got knocked down to four stars instead of five stars, but still a really fantastic book. What I liked, mostly the friendship and bromance between Nobby and Colin, we get so much of this in Jingo, and I absolutely loved it. Also, here's a spoiler. Nobby dressing as a woman and learning about feminism is just the absolute best. Nobby embraces his inner feminineness, and oh my gosh, it's so funny and so amazing. I love it, and I kind of want more of Nobby as a woman because it's just so fantastic. Um, <clears throat> what didn't work for me, even though they came together in the end, it felt disjointed to me with everyone in the city watch off on their own separate tasks and journeys. So we had um, Vimes and Carrot and Detritus and, you know, a lot of that gang after going after Anguilla, who was captured by 71 Hour Ahmed. We have Nabi and Colin off on this secret submarine with Veterinary, the patrician, and uh, Leonard from Quorum. Which is crazy because the patrician was keeping Leonard like captive kind of in the castle and now they're off to the same place where Vimes ends up, um, but it's just crazy that we have all of this going on. And then there's this new character that we meet, Lord Rust, who's kind of like the army commander, and he's off on his own journey to the same land because there's, you know, war-threatening ink morph, and it just seems all very disjointed, even though they all come together in the end. It just didn't feel like the other books where they're all working towards the same thing. So now the most, the majority of this review is going to be my favorite quotes from this book because nothing, I, my words can't capture Terry Pratt's genius. So I just read a whole bunch of quotes that I wrote down while reading this book and hope that settles you guys for a good review. So let's just get into them because there's so many and they're so great. Burley looked as though he'd been let off the hook onto a bigger hook. Average age in years, about 11. Average age in cynicism and malevolent evil, about 163. And these, this was about a bunch of kids that at the beginning of the book um, Carrot was trying to get to play football, essentially, or soccer. Um, I'm sure that when moderate-mannered men of goodwill can get round a table, there's no problem that can't be solved. And this is more of Carrot's optimism. The wizards might well mess up the very fabric of time and space, but they didn't lead to paperwork, and that was fine by Vimes. And that's a clip of Vimes hating paperwork so much. I feel you, Vimes. I do, too. Rotus receipts, notebooks, reports, the watch might or might not be making a difference in the city, but it was certainly frightening, uh, frightening a lot of trees, and that's another reference to all the dang paperwork. As always, Carrot radiated innocence like a small sun. Dreams rising with him like bubbles. Another little memory burst then as silently as a mouse passing wind in a hurricane. 
in just a couple more for you all. Rust expression would have preserved meat for a year. The lady for whom the clothes had been made had been quite tall and somewhat full figured, whereas Nobby, without his armor, could have hidden behind a short stick if you attached a toast rack to it about two thirds of the way up. And that just gives you a image of Nobby as a woman, dressed as a woman. And our last quote gives you an image of Nobby as a woman. I've only been a woman 10 minutes and already I hate Gmail bastards. <laughs> and so that just gives you a little snippet of the writing in Jingo and Terry Pratchett's Genius. I love it so much. I love Nobby even more now than I did before. Before he was kind of like a side character and you only got a little bit of him. But in this book, you get full on Nobby and it is fantastic. So like I said, I gave Jingo by T Sir Terry Pratchett 4 out of 5 stars. If you've read this book, let me know what you thought in the comments below. As always, my Patreon and Discord information will be in the description below. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Hit that notification bell. Keep reading and I love you all to the moon and back. Bye.